What's up, SEAC Nation? Russell Kramer coming to you from the SEAC headquarters here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. This month, we hit a huge milestone. That's right, 5,000 followers on Twitter, 5,000 followers on Twitter. We want to celebrate by thanking you, the fans. To do that, we are giving away exclusive merch, special design 5K shirts all month of October. That's right, this shirt right here. The first winners have already been shipped out. Cheer on your favorite SCAC teams with this exclusive gear. If you're not already following us on Twitter, smash that button right now, at SCAC underscore sports. Retweet our pinned tweet for weekly drawings and winners every Friday through the entire month of October. Thank you, fans, for all your support throughout the years. Now go win a t-shirt. You're watching SCAC Player of the Week interviews. It's week seven of the cross-country season, and today we're joined by Women's Cross-Country Runner of the Week, Molly McCullough of the Trinity University Tigers. And first of all, Molly, congratulations, and thank you for being here today. Thank you so much. So, Molly, last week you were outstanding, coming in seventh out of 345 runners, finishing with a time of 21.39. How do you continue to improve week to week? Um, I just get out there and work really hard, you know, um, we have practice early in the morning and lately it's been pretty cold here in San Antonio and so it's just, uh, I just try to get out there and do the best I can and it really helps to have really supportive teammates and a really supportive coaching staff um, and so I just, you know, I run for my team and it just really helps to give me that support and that motivation to continue to work hard. So Molly, last week your team placed 13th overall out of 39 teams. How does this group continue to improve over the course of the season? You know, it's a long season, um, you know, with starting in the summer, basically. And so, you know, we just keep, we put in that base and we work hard. And then when we get together, we just have a lot of fun and we're just all excited. And we have goals for the entire team for the season. We're focused on those. And so, you know, at this point in the season, there's not a ton more we can do to improve, at least for conference. And so right now it's just believing in what we've done, um, believing in the, our teammates and believing in the coaching staff and then, you know, just looking forward to racing um, next week at conference. So at the beginning of the season, you mentioned um, putting on a lot of miles to start your uh your uh, workouts and as the season goes on, um, training tapering off a little bit. How does training differ from the beginning of the season to the end? Yeah, you mentioned a lot of miles and that's definitely true. We kind of front load our mileage of the season um, right at the beginning just to give us a really strong base to work off of. And, you know, right now it's championship season so we're starting to focus in on our race specific stuff doing a little more speed work um, to just give us you know we have the strength to go all 6k but now it's working on you know the last k the final push uh, just to give us a little bit more um, you know ability to race well. Do you feel like this group is where it wants to be heading into the conference meet and what are your expectations? Yeah, I definitely think we're where we want to be. Um, we lost some pretty good seniors last year, and so it's been kind of a rebuilding process this year, but I'm super proud of all the work that my teammates have done um, to put us in another really strong position going into the conference meet. You know, it's going to be a battle next Saturday over who's going to be the top dog, but I'm really excited um, to see what we can do because I think we're in a really good position to do well. So finally, Molly, um, you're finishing up your senior season, and in terms of legacy, if, if you could be remembered for anything at Trinity, what would it be and why? Oh, geez, that's a hard question. Um, I guess I would really like to be remembered just for being a good teammate. Um, you know, I've been able to accomplish some things on the course that I'm really proud of, but i just like to be remembered for being there for my teammates and um, just, you know, helping to make the team atmosphere really fun. Now it's time for the fastest minute in all of Division Three athletics. That's right. It's time for your SCAC 60. Um, Molly, are you ready? Yes. 60 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Molly, what was your favorite Halloween costume growing up? A uh, fairy costume. Favorite place for the team to eat on the road? Uh, we always go to Panera. Favorite way to kill time when you're not running? 
Um, probably either napping or watching TV. Favorite scary or Halloween themed movie? I hate scary movies, so none of them. <laughs> Surprise party or theme party? Probably a themed party. Favorite Halloween candy? I like Kit Kats and Reese's a lot. Morning or night person? I'm definitely a morning person, um, but sometimes I'm both. <laughs> Corn maze or haunted house? Corn maze. Spicy food or mild food? Mild food. <laughs> oh, and that will wrap up our SCAT 16. Again, today we were joined by FDC Women's Cross Country uh, runner of the week, Molly McCullough of the Trinity University Tigers. And congratulations again, Molly, and uh, good luck as you continue throughout the rest of your season. Thank you. Do you feel like this group is where it wants to be heading into the conference meet? And what are your expectations? Yeah, I definitely think we're where we want to be. Um, we lost some pretty good seniors last year, and so it's been kind of a rebuilding process this year. But I'm super proud of all the work that my teammates have done um, to put us in another really strong position going into the conference meet. You know, it's going to be a battle next Saturday over who's going to be the top dog. But I'm really excited um, to see what we can do because I think we're in a really good position to do well. So finally, Molly, um, you're finishing up your senior season. And in terms of legacy, if, if you could be remembered for anything at Trinity, what would it be and why? Oh, geez, that's a hard question. Um, I guess I would really like to be remembered just for being a good teammate. Um, you know, I've been able to accomplish some things on the course that I'm really proud of, but I just like to be remembered for being there for my teammates and um, just you know, helping to make the team atmosphere really fun. Now it's time for the fastest minute in all of Division Three athletics. That's right, it's time for your SCAC 60. Um, Molly, are you ready? Yes. 60 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Molly, what was your favorite Halloween costume growing up? A uh, fairy costume. Favorite place for the team to eat on the road? Uh, we always go to Panera. Favorite way to kill time when you're not running? Um, probably either napping or watching TV. Favorite scary or Halloween themed movie? I hate scary movies, so none of them. <laughs> Surprise party or theme party? Probably a themed party. Favorite Halloween candy? I like Kit Kats and Reese's a lot. Morning or night person? I'm definitely a morning person, um, but sometimes I'm both. <laughs> Corn maze or haunted house? Corn maze. Spicy food or mild food? Mild food. <laughs> that will wrap up our SCAC 60 segment. Again, today we were joined by Women's Cross Country Runner of the Week, Molly McCullough of the Trinity University Tigers. Again, Molly, congratulations and good luck as you continue throughout the rest of your season. Thank you.